Alright, welcome to this tutorial on how to use any light for the Wiimote Interactive Whiteboard. What this basically is going to be showing you today is how to disassemble the Wiimote. Don't get worried about that though, it's just unscrewing a few screws and taking out the um, infrared filter, which isn't too bad. Um, and that's going to be able, uh, that'll enable you to use basically any light, any LED light, uh, laser pointer, anything with that um, to manipulate windows on the Wiimote Interactive Whiteboard. And by the way, if you have any questions about the program, uh, software, or hardware I'm using during this presentation, you can uh, just drop a comment on my page. If you have any questions, you can do that too. So what we're gonna what we're gonna um, do first is you're gonna have obviously your Wiimote, and you're gonna take your Wiimote, turn it to the back. You're gonna remove your battery case. You're gonna pop out the batteries, and you're gonna unscrew these two screws and these two screws. Now. I found it very hard to unscrew these two screws because of the screwdriver size, but if you can do that, that will make it a lot easier. But just make sure you do not uh, mess up the buttons because the buttons are not glued in place or anything like that, so make sure you don't mess those up. Um, so unscrew these two screws. You're going to basically pull these apart very carefully, these two pieces apart very carefully, and you're going to see something like this. And this may look familiar. It is the IR filter, as they call it, that fits right in there on the inside of the Wiimote to filter out um, infrared, infrared light from regular bright white light, for example. So you're just going to slide that out. It's not glued in place or anything. You're going to take that out, screw the screws back in, make sure the buttons are in place, put the batteries back in, put the back back on, and you're going to hang it. Uh, where you had it or anywhere where you had it basically and you're going to connect it through smoothboard or whatever program you're using <clears throat> and that's basically the extent of the project right there um, and then I'll show you the demo in a second but let me just bring this up if you're using one of these um, Wiimotes like Nyko or anything like that uh, any Wiimote that's really not made by Nintendo be careful what you buy because a lot of these don't work that well uh, as the Nintendo Wii Remote and just make sure you're being careful because uh, I use this one which is a Nyko wand and it's not uh, performing well with um, laser pointers so make sure you make sure you're very careful what you buy with these now on to the demo um, as you can see right here, I'm using a infrared pen that I bought for $20 offline, which, work, which works very well with this, and I'm very happy. Um, but when you take the RR filter off, you can use anything like a laser pointer. This is just a cheap $2 laser pointer that I bought at Ocean State. You can use any kind of laser pointer. It really doesn't matter. And so I'm going to turn the laser pointer on. And obviously you can see that it's uh, you know acting just like the infrared uh, pen and you can use something like this which is an infrared display uh, infrared I'm sorry infrared I'm sorry an LED um, display kind of light thing and you turn that on and you can use it just like it doesn't work very well because it's a flashlight but um, you just use that like the remote too you can use this with any um, any LED light that you might have, like an LED flashlight, you can use that too. And what I found out with the laser pointer, it's not very, well, it's very accurate, it's just not very, you can't utilize it very well because it's not pinpoint accuracy and you can't really find out where you're pointing until after you shoot the laser and by then you're already um, utilizing the mouse. So you can use anything you want. You can take this laser pointer and you can hold it right up to there and you can use it just like the um, infrared pen and you can hold up any kind of LED light and use that as a pen this um, tutorial is basically just to show you that you don't have to have the LED um, infrared LED pen to do this project um, if you're up to it like I just said you can do what I just said and take it, take it into two pieces and then take the IR filter out which is a very simple process so I would recommend doing it and that way you can use, um, you know, any, any light to do this. The only thing I would be careful of is make sure your sensitivity is pretty low 
because um, I actually had to take my necklace off because it was reflecting off the necklace and using it as a mouse. So make sure you have um, the sensitivity set to low or it may not even affect yours. It's depending on the projector light and all that, but we're not going to get into that today. So that's basically my tutorial, and if you have any questions or comments about the program, software, hardware I'm using, just uh, leave a comment below. And that's basically the tutorial. Thanks.